When men and women put on weight, they tend to do that in, in slightly different ways. Uh, you may have noticed that when men put on weight, they put it on around their middles, what we call abdominal obesity, you know, a full-blown spare tyre sometimes, or an additional roll or two. With women, the weight tends to go on underneath the waist, generally around the hips and buttocks, for example. Now, these differences are not just co cosmetic, and the reason is, is that the weight around the middle, abdominal obesity, is the form of weight gain most strongly linked with things like diabetes, heart disease and death. So I've written this book specifically to address this issue and what I outline in the book are the nutritional strategies that are most effective in getting rid of weight around the middle. So that can enable a man you know, to feel better about himself, you know, to look better, look more athletic, uh, but the other side to it is this idea of improving general health and reducing risk of chronic disease and death in time. I have two major thoughts about exercise. First of all, I'm a huge advocate of it. Uh, I believe it's very good for general well-being. If you do it outside, you know, it gives you sunlight exposure, which can increase vitamin D, which is important for the protection of things like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer. I mean, it is really very beneficial to health. What I'm not a huge fan of exercise for is weight loss. The calorie burn during exercise is not great. And anyone that's exercised on a piece of equipment that counts calories will generally know that. And what the studies show is that if someone goes on a diet and loses weight, say over 3 or 12 months, let's say, for example, they lose 10 kilograms. If they add exercise into their regime over several months, say 3 hours of exercise each week, the additional weight loss benefit is in, in the order of about 1 kilogram. In other words, if they lost 10 kilograms just dieting, if they add exercise to that, they'll lose about 11 kilograms. And that is quite a lot of effort to put into not a great result, in my view. If individuals want to understand nutrition and make quick decisions about what is healthy and what is not, all they really need to do is conjure up pictures of early man and early woman sitting around campfires tucking into food. Because, of course, you can see those primal, if you like, foods, things like meat, fish, eggs, nuts, seeds, fruits and vegetables. What you can't see is people spooning into their mouths, you know, bowls of breakfast cereal and eating sandwiches and having diet yogurts and the like. And that one mental image uh, for individuals, if they can just conjure up in their mind, will tell them more or less everything they need to know about what is healthy and what isn't.